I'm really annoyed. Yesterday, I accidentally deleted my whole intro to this weekly vlog by accident to make room on my camera when I was filming a different video. And it was like a 10 minute, really, really super raw chat all about obviously going into lockdown and stuff like my plans for the week and it was literally 10 minutes long and i can't remember what i said in it and like what i was talking about for 10 minutes but basically i feel like this is good because now i can give you an overview of the week this week goes up to like friday there's some really cool stuff in here i do a photo shoot at uni i've get my brows done obviously we've got the first few days of lockdown like what i'm doing fitness wise but i was basically just saying like how at the beginning of this week i was feeling quite anxious anxious about lockdown and i basically just had this realization that like it's not bad like it's not a bad thing we've been given like four four weeks to the end of this year and if you want to do absolutely nothing that's fine like one of my goals is as well as to be like super productive is to be like productive but like easy on myself like not like go into a burnout but basically i was saying at the end of this like shitty shitty year we've had we've been given like four weeks right at the end to like appreciate who we're with whether it's friends or family like i'm with my friends i've stayed at uni like just before christmas for the end of the year four weeks to like appreciate who we're around and four weeks like of no distractions to smash whatever goals that like we didn't think we'd hit this year whether that's fitness related work related like personal growth related if you wanted to like read more books whatever you've been given like four weeks no distractions to try and like smash any goals that's the way i'm trying to think of it not like oh my god four weeks inside uh, i'm like you've got four weeks to hit everything that you've wanted to hit like without any distractions super annoying because it was really really raw and like i definitely said more than that but that was like the gist of what i was saying let's try and like be really positive about it and think like we've been like blessed with four weeks of no distractions with our friends and family this close to the end of the year if you're not with your friends and family i understand how hard it is obviously i'm not with my family at like at all like i'm with my friends i'm really far away so i appreciate like ever not everyone's with their friends and family but like whatever situation you're in let's just try and find the positives in it because there's no point dwelling on the negatives let's just dwell on the positives because like you'll just have such a better outlook i think like today i'm about to like go on a run or whatever and upload this video but today later i'm just gonna film a really really chilled like 10 positive habit habits like i'm bringing to lockdown to hopefully help you guys and upload it tomorrow as like a bit of an extra upload because so many people have been asking me and i'm like yeah you know what let's just do it because like lockdown is what you make it it's like you can or you can't you're always right you're happy or sad like you're always right you can go into it and you can Feel lonely and sad or whatever and i appreciate some of it can't be helped like i'm still getting obviously sad here and there like i'm not like oh my god yeah like obviously i still miss my family and kind of wish this wasn't a thing obviously but um you can look at it the way you like however you want to like i was talking to my brother and he was like oh what inspired the change of heart and i was like just kind of thought effort like i'm either going to be sad in this lockdown or i'm either going to be happy in this lockdown and you know who that's up to me like no one else is going to make me happy or sad in this lockdown it's all up to myself and i was like so i just decided to try and be happy rather than like keep dwelling on the sad because it's four weeks hopefully in four weeks if you're at uni you'll be home or if you can't see your family you'll be able to see your family or if you can't go to work hopefully you'll be able to go back to work and we just to be honest at the end of this year we've had we have no choice but to look at it positively is what i'm like just telling myself like what good is like dwelling and being sad gonna do like we've got no choice but to take this four weeks and like make lockdown our bitch like mm -mm, you're not taking another four weeks of my life you want to give me four weeks that's fine i'm gonna do everything i've needed to do with no distractions but yeah that was basically what i was saying i really hope you enjoyed this vlog sadly it did also delete a couple of videos in town basically it was monday and i wanted to go into town because i was thinking about doing a zara haul so i wanted to go into zara and see if i could get stuff for a haul also zara is my brand for my project so i needed some more in-store research before i went and i wanted to make a new in zara reel a new in urban outfits reel just kind of have a look around i went and got some candles and stuff so yeah i don't think i said much else probably just about my week it's a week of tutorials so we didn't actually have uni this week and yeah i think that was pretty much everything i needed to say <laughs> I just got back from town actually hilarious because i went into tk maxx and home sense and bought a vase i bought myself some flowers to gym myself <laughs> and i've been sent some now i'm gonna guess these are from luke or my parents hello sorry my camera literally completely died and i didn't have any battery charged which hasn't happened in about three batteries <laughs> so i've got loads of batteries now and it's normally always one charged but there wasn't and i was opening these flowers and they were from my parents. <laughs> I have a little note saying, you've got this, you'll be home soon, lots of love, mum and dad. So cute, but I was saying funny because I actually bought myself some flowers to cheer me up. So now we decided my bed, I've got a pink and purple bunch of flowers and two Christmas candles. Funny because I've got like one bigger one 
and one matching smaller one. Super cute. Really happy. My room smells like Christmassy flowery goodness because I've got these two candles on from Wilco at the moment, which are also amazing. But yeah, I went to town. Wasn't actually very successful. I didn't do get anything from Zara, so I won't be doing Zara haul. But I took loads of pictures for my research, made a new in Urban Outfitters haul, a new in Zara. No, new in Urban Outfitters real and a new in Zara real. It's now like seven-ish. I've just eaten. It's half six. I've just eaten. I'm gonna make myself not like hot chocolates. I've got the vanilla soy milk and I'm gonna heat it up and see what it's like and maybe put some like salt caramel syrup in it because I fancy something sweet. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get in bed and crack on with some uni work um, and just put like a film like what kind of film do I want? Maybe a film like The Holiday? I watched The Holiday yesterday which was good but I really want to watch The Holiday so I might put on The Holiday, get in bed and really try and do some uni work because I haven't done uni work in forever. So yeah, that's my plans for tonight. I didn't end up filming a video either. <laughs> I was like, brilliant, I'll go home. Um, I've only got to film one video and I didn't do it. But I forgot, basically, I wanted to film it today because I'm getting my eyebrows done tomorrow before lockdown. But not until 12.45, so I think I'm going to go to gym, come home, try and get ready and film and then go to my eyebrows. I have been so unbelievably unproductive today, but you know what? I'm so okay with it because I'm not having like a weird day, but I'm just like, I didn't have the best day yesterday and I woke up in a bit of a funny mood and I'm just loving how easy I'm being on myself at the moment but I do need to get back into the swimming things a bit but I am gonna go now I'm gonna like end off this vlog for today I'm gonna go and brush my teeth and that I've just been talking to Jazz um I'm sure you know Jasmine Cloth um literally one of my best friends we are planning some more videos virtual collabs Oh my god, I'm so excited. We've got two coming. I'm not gonna say much more. I'm so excited. Also, tell me like what content you wanna see like now in lockdown. Like, what do you wanna see? I'm gonna rope my flatmates in to hopefully film a lot of videos with me because in lockdown that just makes me feel like happy. Like, I'd like I like filming with people because it makes my job a bit more like less lonely if I'm like filming with people and stuff. So Hello, good morning, well, good afternoon. <laughs> it is Tuesday. I had a manic morning, but I did everything I kind of needed to do. So we went to the gym, we were left the house before like 8. Went to gym, really good full body session. Tomorrow's the last day. <laughs> we're going to finish with a heavy bum session, I think. What else did I do? So I came home, got ready quickly, filmed that video I needed to film. And now I'm off to go and get my brows done. So the only thing I didn't do is didn't have time to take off my brow makeup, which is super annoying so I feel like that might be annoying for her in um like before and after pictures sorry I'm getting so good at walking outside so yeah but I'm walking there now it's like luckily I've left myself with kind of enough time to walk I have got like 15 minutes and it's a good 15 20 so mm, smells like weed so that is what I'm doing now I'll show you some clips in there but I'm gonna get really out of breath because I'm kind of walking really fast <laughs> made it with like five minutes to spare so it actually only took me literally 10 minutes can you see yeah. fun fact molly mate actually got her lips dissolved over there in skin doctor literally the kind of soul in the whole entire world I went and she was like I've had like seven or eight people come because of you and she was so chuffed guys if you're in the Leeds area I can't recommend her enough obviously this isn't great lighting right now so I don't know if you can see properly but like this is just a tint in a wax um I'll show you properly when we get home but oh my god she's so lovely she gave me a free mascara and oh she's just the loveliest person ever. Please, as I said, if you're in Leeds, go to her. She's absolutely phenomenal, amazing. First so of all, she's got to close again for like another month, bless her, but she's lovely. So upbeat. I'm just gonna nip into Sainsbury's now. Sorry if you can't hear me, I'm just gonna, I've got half my makeup on now as well. But I'm just gonna nip into Sainsbury's and grab some fake meat. And then I'll probably go to Aldi in a few days to get some veg. Hello, I am back. Don't know why my camera's doing this like weird bluey lighting. I have got a little like nip here from the wax. My skin was a bit sensitive. She was like, this happens with like change of weather and stuff, even though it was a month ago. I feel like it's got significantly colder. She also obviously put like a lot of oil on my face for the wax and took off all my makeup. But look at these. Like these literally look like I've just got them freshly laminated again. Like there's nothing on 
I think there's a tiny bit of eyebrow pencil right at the beginning and like there is concealer underneath but like there's nothing through my brows like they're just so perfect and i don't have to touch them now and i won't have to like do anything to them for like a week and then like in a week i'll just need to do a little bit of line here where the tint goes off the skin but honestly please if you need to go and like support her she's uh, like the most talented person ever but yeah i've been back for a while i went to sainsbury's as i said and i got like some chicken for tonight and i got um veggie steaks i just got like some snacks i got a honeydew melon some strawberries and i got some caramel rice cakes because my fat mate my housemate always talks about them and i seen anna what's her last name i never like read people's username something fitness all over tiktok and instagram absolutely love her she's literally my body girls she was talking about them and they are like 50 calories and i just had one it was very like satisfying because there was a lot of it it was very caramelly so i got them but i really need to get on with some work now i've just been like oh back and forth actually just like with my mom like talking about something exciting that i think i'm gonna turn like i keep saying merch my merch is my merch is not merch it's like nothing to do with me i just have my name or like my face all over it or like anything like that it's literally just like a cool design and i've just been talking about that and like kind of what i want to do with it so hopefully some really exciting things coming soon i'm gonna make it like my little lockdown project i'm not gonna say anything about dates or like what i'm thinking of doing but hopefully really really cool but yeah i really need to just like tidy my space at the moment because like it's a bit messy and stuff everywhere so i'm gonna like when i say tidy my space like just put my makeup away on my desk and like put my coat and stuff away and sit down and get on with some work now like seriously because it's like three o'clock and i've still not done anything um i also want to edit that video i need to edit that video today i've got such a busy, busy day tomorrow i need to edit that video today oh i didn't get wax wipes i need to plan some outfits for tomorrow because i've got my shoe at uni go and follow hannah on instagram she's literally beautiful but yeah, so I need to plan like some looks for that. I need to plan some looks for the shoot. And then I really want to write up. I spent ages last night like putting on notes on the PowerPoint on my PowerPoint. So I can like go through them and like fill them out and like read them or if they're not necessary to my project, like get rid of them and stuff. So I've literally got gym in the morning at eight. Tutorial at half 10, get ready, go into town, take Instagram content, go to uni, take pictures for uni. And then I'll be back here. We've got the studio till half eight, but I don't think we'll need five hours. So I don't know what time I'll be back here. Not super late, but after that day, I don't think I want to do anything. Go on, ask me what I've done. I smell I've done. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. It is now brilliant. It's nine o'clock. I ended up FaceTiming Luke at like nearly six ish. I um, was on FaceTime to him for literally like an hour and a half, probably longer. And then the whole time I was on FaceTime, the girls sounded like they were having a blast downstairs. So as soon as we hung up, obviously went downstairs we were just sitting chatting about you know lockdown coronavirus things people thinking it's like a hoax and like it's the way the government to get us to work for them all that scandal um then started talking about how we're gonna have kids one day and then got really excited about christmas i'm gonna get a christmas tree because you know what all the shit's happened this year my favorite time of the year christmas it's allowed to be two months long i'm allowed to enjoy it for two months but anyway <laughs> there was a delivery that came my mum has sent me six boxes of organic edamame and mung bean basically pasta fettuccine I don't know. High in protein. So per 100 grams, this has 42.3 grams of protein. 350 cal 325 calories. Amazing. So I've got six boxes of this. You've actually seen that one of you recommended it under one of my last videos. So thank you if that was you and thank you, mum. I was a bit creeped out though because I didn't know who sent it. It just literally came at eight o'clock and I was like, oh my God, someone has found my address and sent me pasta, but it was my mum. But yeah, I've done nothing and I need to edit the video for tomorrow. So I'm going to edit the video for tomorrow <laughs> and then wake up, go to the gym for the last time and I have my tutorial at half ten. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? What are we going to do today? We're going to have a, a chat tutorial about the progress of your work. Okay. How are you getting on? If you've got any questions about how it's progressing, obviously we're in week six now. So the expectation okay. is fine. It's, it's on the way, let's say. It's on the way. It is Wednesday. We've just had a last gym session. This has been sitting there the whole tutorial now, but it's warm. Mmm. Mmm. So, so good. I blended um, berries, a tiny bit frozen berries with the vanilla soy milk. Actually tastes like a dessert. And I've got some granola in there and some blueberries. I just had my tutorial being to gym. As I said, it's now 11 o'clock. Got a parcel from Misfits as well, which came really quick. Some more protein bars. I'm going to meet my friend at one. I know people might be quite confused by this because technically we're in tier three and lockdown starts literally tomorrow. But we have just been told by our uni, not very clear and I'm really sorry if you don't agree, I don't either really, but there's no, there's no really way around it. Like the, not the like rules don't apply, but universities have been exempt and university work has been like exempt from, from the new rules. So our rules in our unis, it stands, it's like I can go into a studio with Hannah as long as like one of us is wearing a mask and whatever, like we're allowed to do that. I like we're allowed to meet outside to get content and stuff together because like. Oh, why do I leave everything to be a manic rush? So as you've seen, my camera died, but I've just been getting ready to go out now and take these pictures. 
we're going into town first to get me some outdoor content and then off to the studio to get like some like websitey content and yeah i've got a lot of stuff <laughs> but i need to go now i'm gonna get a uber over to hannah and then we're gonna go into town we are in uni now sorry if you can't like really hear me well i have to keep these masks on i'll give you i'll show you what it looks like i feel like some of you might be interested i feel like vlogging with masks on so funny because you can't see my expression but we're going into town and we took some photos for this as well. Like, I'm going to use all the photos we took for my work. Met a really cute girl. Maybe you're watching. Hey, it's lovely to meet you. Then walked here. Got Greg's, actually. <laughs> but this is, like, the... This is, like, the studio situation we've got. So you've got, like, all the lights up here. And then... How do you turn it on? What? Oh, yeah, the grey one's nice. And then we've got the lights. So this is, like, the actual studio bit. It won't focus because it's all just white. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, we go. <laughs> Oh, it's quite dark actually. I think we'll need a few lights. Yeah, we'll put light on. I hate them when they're this sharp because you've got such a bad shadow. Oh, yeah. Well, you can do it like when we did the induction, we were like practicing how to get rid of the shadow. Okay, cool. But it's annoying using these studios because they're so dirty. You have to like sit and Photoshop the photos ages for after. I think I'm going to take my photos first. I don't actually really know what I'm doing yet, to be quite honest. <laughs> But it's just like simple website style photos. They'll be easy enough. I don't think we'll be here. We've got it till half eight. We definitely won't be here till half eight. No. We just had someone come in and explain the lighting to us because we've not done this in forever. I've actually never been in this room because my, oh my God, it's literally pitch black. Because my inductions were all in fashion photography because obviously that was my first course. Oh, this one's coming further. But this is why I left fashion photography. I hate this shit. I think it's so boring as well. There's nothing interesting about this. It's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, we thought you'd give me another time lapse. It's gone well. I've been quite good. Normally I take so many photos, but I've been taking like that eight ish. Yeah. Like yeah. We're just about to go in the kitchen. Completely forgot. We got a brand new fridge today. You rang me earlier. Should we have a look? Should we have a look together? Wow. Oh, four whole shelves. Oh my god, there's literally so much space. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, there's literally so much space. And the shelves are so high. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Well, I'm going to fit this soup in the <laughs> fridge, in the microwave. And then my plan... By the way, we've just got back from taking photos. They went quite well. My plan is to eat this, get in bed, and just go through all the photos and do all that stuff tonight because I actually really enjoy that. Hello, good morning. Happy lockdown. How are we doing? So yes, it is Thursday. It is the first day of lockdown. And I've had a wonderful morning. I have decided. I have this decision often, so maybe this time will be the time I actually do it. I have decided I'm becoming a runner. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I've always been so scared of running, always hated it, never been good at it, hated it because I wasn't good at it, wouldn't do it because I wasn't good at it. So we're gonna finally actually, gonna try. And like, even if I hate it for like two weeks, whatever, we're gonna keep going with it. I really need a drink, I've only really had a drink of water today, right there. Never been good at it, so always hated it, but always wanted to be good at it, always wanted to like it, because I just think it's a lovely idea, you know, getting out in the fresh air, just like running. And I've been loving cardio day at the moment which is running. But running on a treadmill is a lot easier because you're just keeping your pace, you know, time's there. But I've decided I'm going to start couch to 5k. Um, I did the first one this morning. I got up a bit later, to be honest, but it's locked down. We'll be nice and easy on ourselves. I've had a lovely morning. It's 11 o'clock. I went on my run at like maybe just before nine. Got back at like just before half nine. It was like 28, it was a half an hour. I think they were like exactly half an hour. And the idea, the idea is like on the first week, I just did like 60 seconds running, 90 seconds walking, 60 seconds, 90 seconds for like seven times. And I'll do that three times this week. And then next week it like goes up. But I don't think I'm going to listen to the weeks. Not because I'm like, ah, like quick. But I think I'm going to want to go outside and like run more than three times a week. I'm thinking like four 
maybe five i'm thinking what i'm gonna do is in the morning monday to friday or maybe not monday to friday but like, i'm just thinking in a normal gym routine runs half like the shreddy at home workouts are half an hour and couch to 5k is half an hour so it's like an hour that's what we'd normally do at the gym so i'm thinking i might like go on a run come back not maybe always do the shreddy like today i didn't do it i'm just gonna, gonna kind of do whatever feels good but I'm becoming a runner. So I went and did my couch to 5k this morning. As I said, I actually really, really enjoyed it. It was just not like, I, this doesn't, this might sound stupid, but like not nerve wracking. Like I was okay to go out and do it because I knew I'd only be doing 60 seconds and 90 seconds. If I knew I just had to go out and just run, I'd be like, oh, I don't want to go. Like, I'm bad at it. It's going to take ages. But like that was actually so doable and it, like it was nice to do. Um, I just got a parcel from Estrid, Estrid. I'm working with these guys again soon. I absolutely love these. These have been in my shower ever since I did my first video with them back in the summer. And I also got my ASOS deliveries yesterday. I didn't show you my Misfit delivery. I basically got, I've packed them away now. But they're my favourite protein bars and they sent me a box of the chocolate hazelnut and the dark chocolate raspberry. So I'm very happy about that. That's literally my lockdown snacks planned. I've got two ASOS bags over there for subscribers to pick my ASOS outfit. No, just like my ASOS haul. And they're f***ing, they're massive. So I'm guessing this is just two new razors. Oh no, one. Okay, cute. So we've got a razor pack. This is like the starter pack. So a razor, two five blade cartilages and a wall holder. And then we've actually got some products. What colour is this? I really hope it's the purple. Oh, it's the yellow. Oh, cute. The travel cases are so good. It's unreal. Oh, what a cute colour. Oh, it's like a lime. <gasps> Love. Mood Body Shop Vegan Body Lotion. Very nice. Is this an oil? Mood Cancel Vegan Body Oil Wash. Okay. Need a reason to stay in. Estrid is here. Estrid, Estrid is here to save you from your plans. Wasp, rinse and glow like never before. P.S. It smells amazing just like you. And then what's this last one? Oh, Vegan Shave Cream. Okay. Lovely. What a cute parcel. Mood. Me. Me and me. Um, it's 11 o'clock. I'm gonna tidy my room now. I feel like I say that every minute of every day. I'm gonna actually tidy my room and then hopefully at about like half 11-ish, I'm gonna sit and do like two hours of uni work. Cause I have my, my lunch and my breakfast at like 10. So I should be able to hold out to like one-ish. I'm gonna sit and do like two hours of uni. Well, that's like half one, maybe like an hour and a half-ish. of Until I get hungry, until I want lunch. Sit and actually like do some proper uni work. <laughs> oh. It is now quarter to one. I've just done, here I am going through my second break. I've just done two 25 minute slots and I'm actually feeling really good. I've done some really good work. So I've done like 50 minutes. I would carry on now, but I'm gonna make some lunch real quick because I'm getting a bit peckish. I've been sitting, snacking on honey melon the whole time. And they've just said they're gonna go to Aldi at two, half two. So I just wanna eat now and like have enough time to eat and then come back to working rather than like work and then eat and then not have enough time to eat and then make people late. So I'm gonna go and eat now and then carry on once I've eaten. Oh, today's been, not actually a disaster. I've had a great first day of lockdown. What about you? I have not vlogged. <laughs> um, I went to Audi and I completely forgot to bring you. I was meant to bring you in the car. And I got in the car and I was like, oh. But I was in a bit of a rush. So I didn't come back for you. Um, because I had a, like a pastoral tutorial. Which is basically when they're like, how are you? Are you okay? Are you mentally stable? And then <laughs> I made, came home, did some more work, I think. Just did some more work, but I made um, a vegan chili situation, which I followed an archer fitness thing. Thing? And, and I followed an archer's, an archer fitness's recipe, kind of. I forgot what she used, but I like, thought I remembered, but it turns out she put mushroom in hers as well. It was super yummy, and I had it with cauliflower rice. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I've been like introducing like lower calorie meals again kind of not even on purpose like i didn't realize i've been doing the last three days like i'd be do like one meal a day like a bit more conscious and it is snack galore i love it i would much rather have like lower calorie meals and just snack 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 um i'm loving now i've actually got like 300 calories like or more at the end of every day like if i wanted to right now i have like 400 calories and that i could eat so i think i'm gonna have a big bag of popcorn that i bought in audi and a hot chocolate and sit in bed and watch a film because I've actually done quite a good amount of work today. But me and my friends from home are gonna FaceTime at about eight and it's 20 past seven. So I'm thinking of going live for a bit, but I'm not sure, I'm probably just gonna chill and I'll catch you tomorrow.
exactly 9.31. I've been for a run and done a strength round of shreddy. So the shreddy at home workouts, the five day a week ones, you have like three 27 minute ones and then like two literally 11 minute things. And it's like three like big <laughs> supersets. So I did one of them because I just did a run and I'm actually starving. So I didn't eat before I went. So I didn't think I'd have the energy for half an hour, which I didn't because I'm literally dead. If you could see on them push-ups. I've got quite good at push-ups. That didn't reflect that. So I'm going to go and eat some breakfast. The whole time I was dreaming about granola, but now I'm thinking porridge. But I, I don't want porridge. <laughs> I was only thinking porridge because I got raspberries yesterday. And I love raspberries and porridge, but all I can think about is granola. I'm all ready and I've actually just filmed. So time to sit and edit for the, for the, for the, the foreseeable future. Although I'm thinking, should I make some lunch quickly before? But it's half one and this needs to be literally up within like... Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. It needs to be up by like three-ish to hopefully be up by five. So an hour and a half. I might have to have like my chilli for lunch and for for dinner because I've got chilli ready made. It's probably the easier thing to do, right? Right, okay. Uh, I've got no idea what I'm about to do. I'm just going to edit um, until I get hungry because I'm not hungry. I had a protein bar before I started because I thought I'd be hungry. Um, so I will catch you later. And like always, it abruptly ended on a Friday. That Friday night, obviously, I uploaded my video and stuff. I literally was working till like five o'clock when it went up. Um, oh, <laughs> and then me and my friend, <coughs> my gosh, me and my friends, me and my housemates actually all sat in my room. We were going to sit downstairs and watch films on the projector, but the thing for the projector was in Helen's room and she was out. And so we just sat in my room and all had a movie night in my room. And then Saturday, I literally did nothing. I did something interesting in the evening, really interesting, Christmassy. But I'm actually going to save that for next week's vlog because obviously this is already like 26 minutes long. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the vlog. As always, if you did, please go and give it a thumbs up down below, subscribe. And yeah, I hope you have the best day ever. Make sure you're all staying safe and I'll see you next week or on Wednesday. Bye.